The solar eclipse is days away and it represents just an amazing opportunity. If you're in a place where you can experience it and the weather is great, it's definitely good to go outside and really just experience the totality of the eclipse. But there's so much more happening on an energetic level that is so important. I wanted to share it with you in this video. I know there's a lot of content out there talking about the solar eclipse, but I'm going to bring forward a perspective that I feel is going to be really enlightening and eye-opening for you. And it's going to give you something that you could think about during the eclipse or in that period before and after the eclipse when that energy is full on to really help you heal and take your spiritual growth, your consciousness to another level. So when we think about it in terms of the chakras, the eclipse really can represent an amazing alignment of chakras and also a perspective on showing you where or how energy blockages can really impact or affect your clarity, your intuition, really your state of alignment. So what's happening is we are here anchored as physical beings into the planet. Our feet are on the ground, we're incarnated into a physical vessel, and we are experiencing reality from this perspective. Now, in order for us to expand our consciousness and reconnect with the truth of who we are, we need to anchor into the root chakra. We need to anchor into the planet. So when we think of ourselves, our physical vessel here on the planet on a cosmic scale, we're really looking at the root chakra, right? Being anchored. And on this channel, I, I present a lot of videos talking about anchoring into the body, anchoring into the planet, grounding and things like that. And the purpose of that is to really get it from up here down into here because you came here to have the experience of the human perspective. So you are about to experience a solar eclipse from the perspective of the human. This is an event that can only be experienced right here if you're grounded and anchored into the body and into the planet. So we think of the planet and our body as really the root chakra in this cosmic alignment. Then we've got the, the moon, really. So the moon is just you know, circling the earth and it's passing in front of the sun for a brief moment, for a few moments. The moon is going to be passing in front of the sun. We can think of the moon as our sacral chakra, right? So what's happening is the sacral, when it gets out of balance, it stops the light from moving up into the solar plexus, which can be represented by the sun energetically, right? So what's happening is we are experiencing a blockage of the solar of the, of the sacral chakra, which is really preventing your light, your divine light, as it moves up your central channel from your root chakra through the sacral chakra to the solar plexus. In that brief moment, you are moving out of alignment and the light is not moving up into the solar plexus, right? So it's really a representation or a manifestation of a little bit of a wobble in reality where this energy is just moving out of alignment. Now, even though the sun, the solar, the plexus energy seems to be blocked out by the moon or the sacral, we know that the light is still there. The light exists. So it's important to realize or just be aware of the fact that these types of energy shifts and these wobbles and these alignments, which could bring forward fear. There's a lot of collective fear around this solar eclipse could bring all of this up. It's because energetically, energy is wobbling, is getting stuck in the body. It's just reflecting out into reality as a solar eclipse. So we could think of the solar eclipse as really a reminder that we are energetic beings. And sometimes it appears as though we are disconnected or we have lost the light. We know the light is always there. The eclipse is not extinguishing the sun. The sun is forever present in the sky right? It just appears as though it's been blocked. Just like when we have blockages, when we have fear come up, when we're feeling unworthy and things like that, when you get into the solar plexus, the energy is not reaching the solar plexus. So that area feels blocked. We start to experience all of these emotions. So a lot of these emotions are what's coming up within this eclipse collectively. So it is up to you to really anchor deep into the root, anchor into the planet, experience the energy getting blocked as it moves through the sacral, as the moon comes across and blocks that solar light, the solar, the sun, experience what that feels like. There's going to be a lot of collective fear. There's going to be a lot of ancestral fear rising up in that moment. Remember, 
Think about how the ancestors would have felt when the sun mysteriously vanished in the sky. That would have brought up a whole lot of fear. You are the portal in this moment that is allowing those ancestors who've had that trauma experience, that trauma to come through to heal. So we stay anchored in the body. We stay anchored in the root. Now we know even though the sun is being blocked, right? The solar, the solar plexus is being blocked. There is a portal through the sun, which is your heart space. It's the connection to the quantum field, to the limitless universal source energy. And that energy is available to you. So even though the sun is blocked out, it's like a blockage again in the solar plexus, okay? Preventing energy from moving up into the heart but know that that portal exists. It is forever there, even though you can't see it, even though you can't experience it in the moment because it appears to be blocked. There's emotions in the way that manifest that appear to block that. You know that it is forever present. So it's so important if you experience this fear, if you're really empathic, you're experiencing or feeling the collective fear that you wanna get it back into the body, breathe into the heart space, reconnect with your heart in that moment. So we want to reconnect with the root. We want to reconnect with the sacral. We want to reconnect with the solar plexus. We want to reconnect with the heart. This is an energetic alignment, and it is reminding you how important it is to zero in and experience the groundedness, the anchoredness of all of these chakras, okay? Because we go through the heart space portal. We get through the sun, the solar plexus, into the multidimensional you, the heart space portal, the energy then becomes available to move up through your upper chakras and into your crown and open you up to the magic of the universe. That's when everything really begins to change. Everything really starts to reflect out as a new earth. Reality, reality just completely shifts. But we're still in a period of time where there's a lot of energy and collective fear around the blocking of the light. Remember, the light is there. The light is forever present. You are the light. You're just experiencing what happens on an energetic level when the chakras start to become out of balance and they get blocked. It's a reminder of that process. It's an opportunity to feel whatever is rising up, whatever is coming up in that moment to further anchor yourself into the root, further anchor yourself into the planet and again, experience all of that emotional trauma, all of it that rises up so that you can further reach up past that eclipse through that solar portal into the heart space of the infinite limitless you and bring all of that magical energy down into the body, into the planet and help to heal and manifest new earth. It's such a powerful, powerful time. If this video resonated with you, please watch this one next. Thank you.